Hi, it's Brendan Chaplin here from Strength and Conditioning Education and today I'm here with two of our Athletes Ambassadors. Really pleased to be with Ross and James Chisholm. How are you doing today, boys? Yeah, yeah good. Thanks, really good, good, yeah. good. So we're going to get into some stuff in terms of training and everything like that, but what I thought would be helpful and, and useful for people watching this is just to get a bit more of an insight into basically who you are and what you do and training and just all of that sort of stuff. So. Ross, give us an intro about your background, and I know you could have run a hundred meters, and you know all of this in that many in such a small time frame. But um, you're you're at Harlequins, and you've got a great background and career. Give us a bit of a, an update as to where you're at with things. Yeah, so I've played professional rugby now for Harlequins for eight seasons. Got signed straight from college. Played seventy odd games for the club. Um, come through the academy. Played loads and loads of sport when I was younger was in, lucky enough to be involved with Sussex cricket, did a bit of athletics, but rugby then kind of took over and been lucky to get the opportunity to play professionally for eight years. Awesome. And yourself, James, gives a bit of an update as yeah. to your career's kind of gone like that, hasn't it, in the last yeah, uh, yeah. Um, months? Yeah, yeah. So I'm four years younger than Ross, this is my fourth year. So you're about 15? <laughs> <Correct. Yeah. laughs> fourth, so Jeff, year, Jeff. fourth year in professional rugby, and this season's really picked up, had a great opportunity to play play a lot of games and uh, tried to seize it and really enjoyed it. Unlike, uh, similar story to Ross, but unlike Ross, I wasn't very good at anything else. <laughs> I just had rugby, whereas he was the all-round sportsman, but... Um, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it is, and yeah. lump it or whatever. You play the hand you dealt, as they <laughs> yeah, say. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, S&C-wise then, Ross, you've done lots of different things. What Give us a bit of an insight into the programme that you do. What What's helped you become the athlete you are today and just anything that springs to mind on that side of things? Yeah, so S&C wise, we've basically tried to work with what I've got and that's yeah. my speed. Yes. And then with, but with the fine balance of actually putting on some mass, because I think when I started, I was you know, a bit of a rake at 78 kilos or something, which to play professional rugby is not heavy enough. No. So it's a fine balance between trying to be bigger um, sometimes maybe carrying a little bit more weight than you probably would walking around naturally but being able to still hold my speed so mm. we've worked a lot on basically trying to get me as quick as possible or quicker yeah. so loads of reactive strength um, loads of squatting jumps um, things like that loads and loads of calf work mm. to keep that up and then doing our strength testing markers for speed, we found that my hip torque is quite high. So we've yeah. really tried to almost push that rather than focus on some of the other areas to actually you make my body even better at yeah. the areas that I am good at. So, and then it's just the general upper body strength from the bench press and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But, and unfortunately <laughs> I've had quite a lot of injuries. So I've had to rehab a lot of stuff, but at the same time, sometimes that is yes. a good thing because you can then work on areas that you've maybe struggled with in the past, yeah. like bad backs, hamstrings, you can actually just get them right and, mm. and push oh, yeah. them on. Injuries are opportunities to work other areas, aren't yeah, they? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So in terms of the speed, you th have you sort of gone down more of a strength and your strengths type of approach with the hip torque and you're working on the things that you naturally do very, very well to make it even faster? Is that the gist of way? It's a bit of both, that? really. So we, I've been lucky enough to work with a really good speed coach. They, yeah we work with an s t team who then work with a specialist um, sprint coach so we've worked a lot on my hip talk um, stuff like glute bridges and things like that weighted and hamstring strength in particular because that is my area of strength but also try to improve so the two areas they kind of is the the jump squats and things like that so we haven't really done too much of that but we've done a lot of like reactive work yes. yeah. so we found like the plyos actually has given me that little bit more speed off the mark to yeah. be reactive. So it's kind of like a, a marry of two. We focus on my strength and then maybe the, the, the one he believes is the yes. most yeah. important one to improve that little weakness. And both of them have made a huge, That's massive. A huge difference to me. And some of the wise. combat stuff as well. I know you've done bits of wrestling with me, but yeah. also your own stuff as well back in the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and at yeah. home, yeah, yeah. Home with fighting one. with him. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. a lot smaller when he was younger, so I could win. <laughs> Not so sure now. Sakes, the, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the balance is yeah, tipped there. Yeah. 
yeah, I spend most of the time running away from him. <laughs> Practicing your speed in a different yeah, way. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. But no, like the grappling, like we've done a lot of grappling, haven't we, working together, and it's, it's kind of just helped my, some of it isn't relevant to rugby, but it yeah. just helps you feel more confident and actually be able to, when you get in a situation, something like a little controlling your body to then put them on the floor has helped quite a lot. And it, yeah. made, it almost made me think about how I can use my strength to to put people on the floor rather than sort of going for the, the classic rugby tackle type yeah. Yeah. low leg or up high or whatever it's mm. given me an ability to actually be like well this is actually what yeah. I can do and work stuff out and we had a couple played with yeah. a few a few techniques and things like that yeah. so actually it made a massive difference for me and it is is it's about the mental element as well mm. like the huge it's the same with the speed if i feel like i'm training and working towards something then sometimes you you get that psychological confidence and the same with the grappling like yeah, gives you that, sure. that mental edge of like actually i can yeah i can put big guys down mm. where sometimes you might be like oh, i'm not sure where well, you know you can and james different physiques different yeah. physiologies underpinning those physiques yeah um give us an insight into your training and what works for you and what's made you the athlete that you are well yeah as you said me and ross were pretty different as 18 year olds i think i came in um was a lot heavier than him yeah but my when i was younger about 12 13 i had um a disorder in my knee disorder cremation patella in my knee similar to august Slat august slatters yes so i ran i've got a bit of an odd running gait and i ran for years with a limp right so when i started it was awful now it's a case of when I get really tired, you can see it come in. And when I started, so this month, like I said, my fourth year, we've done a lot of work around my pelvis control, core work, glutes, to try and switch everything back on, yeah. to try and technically move better as well in the running session. So in pre-season, boys would be doing big fitness sessions, tempos, and I'd slow it down a bit, try and control my, my pelvis and the way I move. Um, and that's been the main the main area we've worked on for the for the three years that I've been a part of the club and similar in the in the gym very much split split stance work split right. squats um, lunges with those the, the glute circuits back extensions to help out because we get a lot of lower back pain to help out strengthen up the small the small muscles now that's that's where it's moving I do yeah. a lot of low level core exercises back extensions glutes it's just like the small muscles that you don't really think about especially when you're at college you want to do bench press curls yeah. get <laughs> big upper body yeah yeah, curls, yeah 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 when you have go, you been watching me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to magaloof when you're holding the glass that's yeah. what you want exactly and um now it's more important that the movement stuff and looking after myself like we've said i've, I've played um, a lot more rugby this year than I ever have yeah. and um, some days it does just need to walk around the gym do your stretches avoid the weights and, yeah. and get things right for your your body um, but that's 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 where my essence is going and uh, it's taken me a few years to really understand what and why we're, we're doing yes. things yeah. he's always been a lot better switched on done his yeah. research cared, he's smart one yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's cared a lot more about it than I have I think I'm finally getting it so when I started um, and even this preseason my fat scores are so high because I just go so big in off season yeah which I think is important but there's a there's a <laughs> there's a balance, there's a balance yes. which I never really get right <laughs> and I think I'm starting to switch on so in pre every preseason I've always had to do like low level fat burners and things like that are really important yeah important, you don't find that balance in Krispy Kreme yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Frosting to sugar balance, yeah. <laughs> but um, yes. I, I think I'm starting to get better um, as as it sort of continues. As yeah. it sort of, you know, the the goal, the goals that I've set myself at the start are getting closer and closer. And I yeah. think smaller things. The one always talk about the I can't remember his name. That cycling coach, one percenters. Everyone always mm. talks about Dave that. Brelsford. There, there yeah, you go. Yeah. The one percenters. And I think you've got to try and get those right. I'm still not perfect, and I'm no. still chasing obviously the goals and the dreams I've set myself. Yeah. But I think I'm starting to switch on a, a bit better and understand why what we're doing. You know, um, if somebody looks at a stat sheet, they're going. You know coaches might not look at it but somebody's like well why is that like that or why is this fat score like that yeah. it's, it is important yeah. Yeah. and yeah. The, the higher up you're trying to go and that's obviously the, the end goal to get as high as possible people are going to look at little things yeah. like that and be like yeah. why is he not why is he not doing that I think that's for me as a marker of a good coach or a good coaching mm. team is that you guys as the athletes are doing it but if we don't give you the rationale and the underpinning knowledge of to why you're doing it, then mm. 
we can't expect you to necessarily buy into that as much you know it's a it's a it's a really important phase is the education phase there's su- the su- always some athletes that still say nah I'm not having that but it but when you do get that buy-in like you said you you sort of understand more about why you're doing what you're doing you can take more ownership and actually yeah, the results yeah. you're going to see are going to shoot through the roof because yeah. you, you really believe it don't you yeah. yeah it's huge I think it's like knowing your your athlete as that coach mm. so like sometimes you'll get people that come in the gym and are like Oh, I can't do this today and it's like well you can but then you know the sport that we play you're going to come into the gym and just be exhausted yeah so it's having that balance between pushing but then knowing when to just step off the gas and getting that balance right or that or like that mental balance like we've spoken about that mental yeah. balance in I think in essence it's so yeah, important sure. to get your athletes feeling like sometimes you just need that mental like session that sharpener session yeah. rather than the big heavy session to no, just get true. just get just get you in the right frame of mind because actually it, the snc is the supplement to playing the playing's the most important bit it's it what we get it's the outcome it's what it? we get paid to do yeah. we don't get yes we get paid to train but the most important thing is that yeah it's that playing so yeah, you've yeah. got to be in the best shape possible yeah yeah, the training is there to fuel the, yeah. the outcome, which is the game, and make you guys perform, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and it's easy to lose sight of that when you think about, yeah. I want to get you stronger, I want to get you faster. Exactly. Well, faster for what? And in what exactly. time frame? And, yeah. and what, at what cost as well? Exactly. It might be like, oh, we want to get you... The classic is how fast you're on the 100 metres in. And I'm like, well, I don't know because we never do it. What's yeah. the point? Yeah. The, the pitch is only 90 metres long anyway. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, well, it's irrelevant how fast yeah, you sure. can run the hundred in. How fast can you run mm-hmm. ten meters in? How so with a ball in your hand? Yeah, exactly. Else how much? It, yeah, yeah. While you're breaking a tackle, how quickly can you get yeah. that kind of stuff? And it's as a as a as an athlete, I want a coach that can like break that down, really like work that out, and then know me, yeah. work around me. Because everyone's so different and what they need. Well, you're certainly different, no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I've got in common is you've got equally bad beards, yeah. and I'm getting there as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's that's it. I'm missing out here. Um, so we're going to come back with some more informative videos with with Ross and James. We're going to go through some cool exercises and progressions. Uh, so we'll be back soon.